Welcome to the lesson. Quotation marks. After completing this lesson, you will be able to Define punctuation Explain the basics of punctuation State the uses of quotation marks Gaya is writing a composition on how she would like to spend her birthday. The teacher wants to know what Gaya has written. Gaya reads out the following lines. I want to buy a beautiful, delicious and pretty chocolate cake. But where is the bakery? The teacher is surprised that Kea has not used any punctuation marks apart from the full stop. Kea wonders how this affects what she has written. The teacher explains that correct punctuation is helpful in understanding the right meaning of a sentence. The teacher decides to explain punctuation to Kea and the rest of the class. Come on, let us also learn about punctuation. The word punctuation is derived from the Latin word punctum, which means a point. Hence, punctuation is the art or act of adding points, stops or marks in writing. Punctuation is the correct usage of pauses or stops in writing. It is used to indicate pauses in a sentence as well as to clarify the meaning of a sentence. It is possible for us to use pauses or to change the tone of our voice when we speak. In order to indicate these pauses and intonations in writing, punctuation marks are used. Punctuation marks are indicators used in written text to separate sentences or any part of a sentence from another. For example, he went to the market. The full stop after the word market indicates that the sentence has ended. Punctuation marks can be used to alter the meaning of a sentence without changing a single word. For example, he asked me about the game. He asked me about the game? The first example is a statement. However, the second example is a question. The use of question marks, in fact, indicates that the speaker is surprised. There are different punctuation marks used in writing. They are the full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, comma, semicolon, colon, dash, hyphen, quotation marks, apostrophe, capital letters, ellipsis, and parentheses. Let us take a look at the quotation marks. There are two types of quotation marks. They are double quotation marks and single quotation marks. Double quotation marks are used to enclose direct speech or quotations. For example, Tammy said, let's watch a movie. Here, double quotation marks are used to enclose direct speech. William Shakespeare said, action is eloquence. Here, double quotation marks are used to enclose a quotation by the famous writer William Shakespeare. Single quotation marks are used for quotations within direct speech. For example, she said, My mother says, never lose heart, so I try my best. Double quotation marks can be used in a variety of ways to separate special words or phrases. For example, I am not your baby anymore. To enclose direct speech that is broken into two parts. For example, come with me, he said, if you want to meet her. 
to enclose the title of short poems, short plays and short stories. For example, have you read The Inch Cape Rock? To enclose the names of ships, hotels, etc. For example, what time does that Maria set sail? Here are some important points that we must remember. Quotation marks are never used for indirect speech. If a punctuation mark is part of a quotation or direct speech, it appears within the quotation marks. Titles of movies, books, long poems and long plays are either underlined or italicized. The teacher has explained the uses of quotation marks to the class. Let us revise the main points before Kea resumes writing her composition. The word punctuation is derived from the Latin word punctum, which means a point. Hence, punctuation is the art or act of adding points, stops or marks in writing. Punctuation is the correct usage of pauses or stops in writing. It is used to indicate pauses in a sentence as well as clarify the meaning of a sentence. It is possible for us to use pauses or to change the tone of our voice when we speak. In order to indicate these pauses and intonations in writing, punctuation marks are used. Punctuation marks are indicators used in written text to separate sentences or any part of a sentence from another. Punctuation marks can be used to alter the meaning of a sentence without changing a single word. There are different punctuation marks used in writing. They are the full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, comma, semicolon, colon, dash, hyphen, quotation marks, apostrophe, capital letters, ellipsis, and parentheses. There are two types of quotation marks, double quotation marks and single quotation marks. Double quotation marks are used to enclose direct speech or quotations. Single quotation marks are used to enclose quotations within direct speech. Double quotation marks can be used in a variety of ways. To separate special words or phrases. To enclose direct speech that is broken into two parts. To enclose the title of short poems, short plays and short stories. To enclose the names of ships, hotels, etc. Remember, quotation marks are never used for indirect speech. If a punctuation mark is part of a quotation or direct speech, it appears within the quotation marks. Titles of movies, books, long poems and long plays are either underlined or italicized.